Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how to program your FOB for your C6 Corvette. Uh, this will help if you want to program an additional FOB. The other thing this video is going to show you is that you can actually program the new FOB. That's for the uh, 2008, I think, if I'm right, and newer. You can program it on an older C6 Corvette, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, the first thing, this video is for Canadians. In Canada, you need two programmed key FOBs in order to program a third one. If you only have one programmed key fob, you cannot program a second one. You need to have two programmed key fobs in order to program a third one, but you cannot program a second one. I don't know why, but in Canada, it's a little different. Yeah, we do sometimes things a little strange here, but that's the way it is. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. First thing you're gonna do is take all of these, obviously. You're gonna need them all. And you're gonna open up the car. Go inside and you're gonna put one, two key fobs inside the tray. You're gonna, also with the one you're gonna program, you open up your glove box, which already did. Okay, then you're gonna pop the trunk, which is right here. trunk and you're gonna take the key that you're gonna keep separate from the rest of it you're gonna go around it's a little tight here I can't show you a good view but you're gonna go into the key insert above the plate and you're gonna stick the key so you're in. gonna stick the key right there above the plate and you're gonna stick the key in and you're gonna turn it five times so you're gonna go one two three four Five. And what happens is you're going to come and you're going to see ready for key fob number three. So you're going to take the key you're going to program, which is the new style one. You're going to take it, you're going to put the buttons facing toward the passenger side, and you're going to leave it there. And you're going to wait. And says ready for key fob number four so now that key fob is programmed so what we're going to do we're going to take it out we're going to turn this off we're going to take the keys take all the keys close the trunk Close the door and see if our new key fob works. So, yep. See if the trunk works. And the trunk works. So, that's how you program your key fob. And that's how you program a new key fob. What I'm going to show you guys next is how to make this key fit in your older style vehicles because they say they're slightly different, but I came up with a nifty trick on how to fix that. Okay, tune in. Hope this video helps you guys out.